Okay, a couple of days ago, I started a video and I titled it Monique and the Alien Being. Monique and the Aliens. I talked about um, the experience that Monique, the comedian, had. And I also shared a video that saw in my dream channel that I made about a year ago regarding some beings coming from over, coming through a portal. I'm going to complete that video. What happened was after I finished showing those two videos, I spoke on the topic and I said a whole lot of good information. I mean, the information was so good that I had to, had to slap myself on the back, had to give myself a pat on the back, you know, but after the video was done, then I realized that by accident, when I thought that I was stopping the video that you guys were listening to, I actually stopped the video entirely. So the whole recording was cut short. So I had to make that a part one. I'm going to make a part two to give my thoughts and my opinions on portals that are open. And I'm linking it to the way we live in today because we are on a, we're under a satanic rule. Those of us that are people of the most high, we are now behind enemy lines, right? The devil has come down, right? And he's about to make his great appearance. It's not going to be too long before the devil himself makes his great appearance. Or even the Antichrist that the Bible speaks about. But right now, things are just being prepared for a great entrance of evil. See, we have not even scratched the surface of the evil that's going to be on this earth because right now we are being ruled by a race of demons. And the ones that's being punished and persecuted are those that's of the most high. Now, there are many of you that's going to be like Peter when he denied Christ three times. I believe that was Peter. He denied him three times. And then, you know, Yeshua ended up saying, do you love me? Feed my sheep. But he denied him three times. So there are many of you, especially within the church, that's going to deny the most high to try to save yourself. But because of the discernment that demonic energy have, because of the discernment, so you have to understand that demons have discernment as well as people of Yah. See, we're not the only ones that have discernment. You could actually walk inside a satanic temple. You don't have to say a word, just be there. And your energy would bear witness to who you are. Okay, but that's cutting into part two of my video. But evil is soon to make a great entrance into this world. Right now, we're just feeling the winds of it. Okay. What we see that's going on now, even in the political arena, are only the winds of what's going to happen. And most Americans have already been conditioned to worship the beast and its image. I'm going to repeat that. Most of the human beings, especially in America, have already been conditioned to receive the beast 
and its image. So it's going to be nothing for you to receive the mark of the beast. Because we are now living in a very satanic age. When it's so easy for y'all to cross over. And that's why you see so many of us have turned it, turned our backs on the most high. That's why you see so many videos on YouTube and TikTok where a lot of blacks, regardless of what happened in our past, and these are people that claim to know history. These are people that claim to be black power and for black people. These are the people that, say, that, that, that claim to be against white supremacy and racism. These same people, doesn't matter if you're a politician, doesn't matter how educated you are, it doesn't matter if you are a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, evangelist, or what have you, because if you listen to a lot of these preachers and these pastors that claim to be so anointed, these are the some of the same ones that would turn around and support every agenda and program that the wicked Democrat party have. See, that's telling on yourself. And I've said in the past that you can't serve two masters. You're either gonna love one or you're going to hate the other. So how can you say that you, you love God and you support and follow the Democrat party? Can't seem to figure that out. You see, but that only tells you who you are and whose you are. One other thing before I get to my short topic. Brothers, and I'm speaking to the brothers that, that claim to be heterosexual, that we're old school, okay? That we don't believe in uh, the abomination agenda that's occurring here in this nation and across the globe. Beware of females, especially in the so-called black community, beware of females that when you look on their profile, doesn't matter if it's Facebook, if it's YouTube, if it's Instagram, and even if it's TikTok, and you see that they have that rainbow and they representing the rainbow, they may claim to be heterosexual. But if you're heterosexual, why are you repping the rainbow? Avoid those females. Any female that's got an image of a rainbow on her profile, on her being, avoid her. Run for your dear life. That is not the woman for you because there are skeletons in her closet. Now for my short topic. Weed kills, okay? Now I know that there's a lot of y'all out there that claim, oh, weed is from the earth and you know it's from the most high and all this other nonsense. Weed kills. Why do you think this satanic kingdom legalized marijuana? There are so many brothers, so many black dudes that have been incarcerated, that have been imprisoned, for weed. And now all of a sudden it's legal. They allow you to have it. Don't trust it. Not one bit. Weed kills. It kills your brain cells because it's not from the earth. It's something that someone cooked up in the back room or in a basement somewhere. They start mixing things together to get higher and higher and make it stronger to the point where now the stuff stinks. I mean, I walked past a couple of brothers, man, young dudes. And keep in mind, these are dudes, man, that grew up with my sons. Some are younger than my sons. My youngest son is 29, right? And you had dudes that's younger than he out there smoking that, but yet they look older than me. I'm 62. I'll be 63 in December. I have no wrinkles nowhere. Okay. Most people don't believe my age. Okay. I get along. 
I'm stronger and faster than most young people today because I keep fit. Okay. But you have young dudes, man, that's in their teens, that's in their early 20s, in their 30s, that look old. Young boys that went to school with my son, my son came and he visited from Georgia. And he saw some of the dudes he grew up with. Most of them are in jail. Some of them are dead. And the ones that are left are walking around like zombies. Hair all over their head, they look like bums. They look older than me, their face is wrinkled. So, and then they got the audacity to light up. See, so, and you have some of his friends that even decided to get into witchcraft. See, witchcraft is in voodoo is very popular now in the so-called black community, not just among women, but among a lot of dudes. And you wonder why the so-called black community is where it is right now and where it's going to remain. As a matter of fact, things are going to get worse before they get better. Until black people change the direction they're going right now, things are going to get worse. Yeah, it's easy for you to talk about how the over 400 years are over now from you being in captivity under that curse. And now you're going to put yourself back under a curse. See, Joe Biden told you that. He said they're going to put y'all back in chains. And he was talking about the Democrat Party. But I don't mean to get politic, uh, get political on you, okay? But politics pays a lot of what's going on today, especially in the so-called black community, you know? But like I said, we kills. You need to leave that poison alone. It's poison that the so-called white supremacist gave you, the ones that you guys talk about, and then you're going to smoke his weed? Yeah, you may say like, oh, I grew that and we did this and we did that. The stuff is killing you. It's frying your brains. You can barely read. But yet you have no problem breathing in poison that's destroying you. Just to walk past these young men, it's like it was, it was awful. I avoid that because I love me much more than I love any other thing on this earth. Yes, I love my granddaughters, love my sons, love my family. But if my mind is not right, if I'm not healthy, what benefit could I be to them? So maybe this is for somebody to hear out there, man. Leave the drugs alone. Not just weed, man, but cocaine, crack, whatever new thing they got coming out there because you want to get so high that it's going to take you under. It's going to take you straight to hell. And you need to leave that mess alone. Listen, you got preachers. And that's why you find so many people don't respect preachers and pastors today. They don't respect church. They don't respect anything of God. Because the ones that are supposed to represent the most high are doing the very same thing that the devil is doing. The children of the devil. You're doing the same thing. So there's really no distinction there. And then when you go to church and you preach, you're only preaching for the people's money. But leave that poison alone. The weed is killing you. You can't even think right. You're now thinking that wrong is right and right is wrong. It makes no sense. So feedback, tell me what you think. And I will be doing that video. The last part of that video about the alien race and how this earth is controlled and how it affects you and how so many of you have already been abducted and don't even realize it. When you went to sleep one night and had a dream or a nightmare and then you thought you woke up, no, this is reality. You're different. You're not the same. 
And even the people that grew up with you can't even recognize you because you're so different. Your views are different. Your likings are different. So feedback, tell me what you think. Check out my website. Until next time. I'm fearless.